itself is similar to a normal CT scan that only takes five minutes or so, but most of the time is the preparation, making sure the patient's in exactly the right position. And then you do a quick scouting scan, you have a look because you know where the cancer is, you know where the patient is, and you need to make sure that it's all in a good position so you can get the radiation in very accurately so you can get them the best treatment. So is the situation that the patient comes here and then um, has this scan and a few minutes later goes down the street for radiation? Not quite that quickly. Um, so in emergency cases, we can turn around the treatment planning time in a couple of hours. So they would come here, have a scan, and then go down the road, and the quickest you can get treatment turned around is that kind of time period. For most people, um, you're planning well ahead. And so for the curative treatment, when you're trying to cure the cancer with radiation, you normally do the scan, and then between one and two weeks later, you'll start the treatment down at Bermuda Cancer and Health. You said you have 30 um, patients waiting. Yeah. Um, are you envisaging that it's going to be more coming as, uh, as people hear about it? Or? Yeah, well, there's a mixture in the sense that if we look at the population statistics with Bermuda, we know that we have at least 300 new cases of cancer a year. And then if you follow all the international guidelines and use radiation to its maximum benefit, then about 200 patients a year will benefit from radiation. So looking at that, we expect three or four new patients a week to be coming through our program. But because there's some cancers where you can wait, before you need your radiation, and then there's some people in Bermuda who don't have the option of going overseas. We're going to have a, a busy start, and so those 30 people waiting at the moment have chosen to wait or have had to wait because of the insurance situation. Uh, as time goes by, we expect it to kind of flatten out and be much more of an even number for our pathway. And you expect um, that, that now we've got this locally, it's going to save people a lot, a lot of money financially. Do you have any stats on that? Or? Um, so. We know that overseas care has different costs. So it has cost to the insurer, and it has cost to the patient, and that depends a lot on coverage. But if you think about the longest course of radiation being a two, two to two and a half month course of radiation, so you have a treatment once a day for that whole time period. So even if everything is 100% covered by the insurers, from a personal perspective, you're gonna have out of pocket expenses for food, you're gonna be taken away from your loved ones, from your friends and family. So individuals are gonna save money. Overall, it's gonna be a saving benefit for the whole healthcare system. We estimate somewhere in the region at 24% cost saving on the cost of just the radiation here compared to overseas. And then when you add in all the extras, the flights, the hotels, and just the comforts for patients, it's gonna make a huge difference. What about patients that need um, chemotherapy? Yeah, so the chemo, chemotherapy is all available here in the hospital. Mm -hmm. and. One of the great advantages of being able to do this through the collaboration agreement between the Bermuda Hospital Board and Bermuda Cancer and Health is that if you need chemotherapy and then radiation, or sometimes you do it together, chemo and radiotherapy in the same day, then it should be a smoothness transition between the two buildings with the two teams working together as well. You want to talk a bit maybe about the types of cancer that you're seeing that will respond to the radiation treatment? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Um, so Bermuda's uh, cancer demographics are actually quite similar, as far as we can tell, from most overseas. So from, we compare them to America, to the Caribbean, to the UK, because we've got data from there. And it's <laughs> remarkably similar. There are some changes and there's certainly some small differences, but radiation can be used in nearly all types of cancer and it responds differently. The most common types of cancer that receive radiation are prostate cancer for men and breast cancer for ladies. And for both scenarios they're part of the curative part so they can both cure the cancer in that situation. These 30 people you have waiting are breast cancer patients? A mixture? mixture. Um, so yeah actually a, a big mixture quite a few prostate cancer patients a few breast cancer patients and then a mix of 